Hi, I'm Jackie Simeon. And I decided to journal my experience of being unemployed through webcam. And my hopes was to inspire and encourage other folks that are unemployed. Maybe this is your first time, maybe not. Irrespective to whether it's a first or second or third, it's still very trying emotionally, especially if you have children, if, especially if you are the head of your household. It can be very trying. And there are a series of emotions that you go through. But here's what I do want to share with you. I've been unemployed maybe three, four times in the last 10 years due to economic failures, i.e. the oil prices drop due to the supply market, et cetera, et cetera, irregardless to why the experience is still there. This time, I decided that I was going to take a different approach. I'm at a different point in life. I no longer have kids at home, and it's just me, myself, and I. So I decided that I needed to reinvent myself. I needed to take time to really understand who I was as an individual, not as an employee. But what could I actually contribute that would make me happy, that even if I did it for free, that I would be satisfied. I would satisfy my passion. I've always enjoyed mentoring people or young adults um, in, in careers. And I've spent a lot of time, and I do have experience in that field, to just be able to, to really take a look at your skills, but you as a human being, and what is it that you can really contribute? Find your passion, seek it, and go forth and do that. Now, in the meantime, what I've done in, while reinventing myself, I've looked at the path of property management, and I do that. I've, I've managed properties for a couple of private investors, uh, property owners, and that has been very, very satisfying to me. And so I wanted to pursue that as doing my own thing, owning my own business. Well, I have to go out and start seeking investors. And if you're on unemployment, you know that you have six months and there is no other resources that's available to you unless you have your family's support, the financial support to help you. Otherwise, it's done. So what I've decided, because my unemployment will be ending in March, I needed to do something to generate revenue, something that I could build on. So then I began to look into a cleaning service. Now, we all have experience, for the most part, in the cleaning. So I took it to another level. Well, why don't, if I clean my house, why don't I clean your house and make money doing that? What I found in my research is that it has very little overhead. So that is kind of an avenue that I started pursuing. But irregardless to that, I want to touch base a little bit again on the emotional aspect of being unemployed. Right now, if you're facing that the end of the road in the sense of your unemployment is ending, I, un I understand the overwhelming feeling. I understand the fear that's associated with that. When you feel like there's nowhere to turn, I get it and I understand. So I guess you say, then what do you do? I don't know what exactly the right answer would be. But what I had to do is I had to seek my higher power. And my higher power is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I had to do that. Otherwise, I think I'd have ended up in the loony tomb or the loony bin. I had to hold on to my faith. I had to believe that no matter what tomorrow would bring, whatever the day would bring, I had to overcome it. And I did not have to do that alone. You know, the word says that God will never leave us, nor will he ever forsake us. And I had to hold on to that truth, even though there's times when I didn't believe it or I didn't trust. And I know sometimes that's how we feel or how you may be feeling right now. Who do I trust? This, this situation seems so hopeless. I've submitted several applications. I'm not hearing from anyone. You don't understand, but I really do. When you submit 10, 15 resumes a day with the hope of hearing something from someone, you seek recruiters and you hear from no one. One of the other things that I would say that is a, a tip for you would be to network. 
that's going to be your biggest source of of getting your name out there. It's just like a business. What is your brand? Well, you have to network. And I have found in my course of being unemployed, networking is very, very key. If you know 10 people, your 10 people know 10 people. So that number begins to multiply. You have to get yourself out there. And I know there are some days where you'd rather just keep the covers over your head and just pray that it just wake up and it's a bad dream. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So you have to get yourself up and you have to keep moving. My thing was, no matter what happens in a day, I have to get up. I have to take a shower. I have to get dressed. I have to make my bed. I have to look for work. And that was enough in four hours to keep my feet moving, to keep myself motivated. So you have to be encouraged, no matter what you're faced with, you have to be encouraged. And guess what? You're going to have to encourage yourself because there's no one that's going to pick up a phone and encourage you. They're not going to call you just to say, hey, I'm just here to do that. Unfortunately, for the most part, that doesn't happen that way. Hence why I'm recording this video. I want to encourage you. You're not a failure. Things happen to certain people. And sometimes you ask yourself, why? Why me? response would be, why not you? We're not any different from the person that's facing what other tragedy that they may be facing. Why them? Why not me? But I will say this in closing, that no matter what you're faced with today, no matter what, ask yourself, what am I to learn from this experience? What can I do to make me a better person? And if you smile, just find a way to smile. Fake it till you make it. And you will see that it will encourage you, that you will be inspired. Always look under the pillow for that silver lining or that little piece of gold or silver or that little nugget to help you get going. It's important. It's important to you because you matter. So keep your faith, whatever that may be. Know that you're not alone. And I will tell you this for sure. This too shall pass you will land that other opportunity or that new opportunity. And you will see that it's far better than ever that you could ever imagine. Until the next time. So until then, I'll keep you posted. Sorry I have not been online. There's been a lot of things that's taken place, but I am grateful. I am very grateful. Like I said, I will be starting a new job February the 1st. For that, I'm excited. I'll let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, Check me out. Send me a note. Let me know how I can encourage you, how I can help you. And I wish you well. Thanks.